So I'm really happy to be here with Jackson Brown, and I get to ask him the last hour interview, three minutes of it <laughs> on a video. I always want to talk about, like, the writing process for you. You're still writing every day, or often, right? Yeah. 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 And that process is like, what comes first for you? The words, the lyrics, because you're such a beautiful lyricist, or the music, which is your musician, of course, and... Well, I think that very often uh, some phrase or some idea comes to me in, in word form, but almost right away when you, when you take that, it's, it's a short thing. It's a short, you know, I very rarely write a lot of words out without the music. One time I did on a plane, and when I got off the plane, uh, none of these words would sing in any form. They were just not, they didn't, there were nothing, there was nothing musical about it. So... Although, actually, one of my best songs, I wrote the entire first verse on a plane. What was that? Looking East. Okay. And uh, I always thought that was, that was fortunate. But if you have an idea, I get a lot of ideas on planes, but you've got to, like, immediately, you take those words and right away they get attached to a piece of music, which also starts growing almost at the same rate. And then they help each other by, you know, like, this, it's actually easy to write lyrics because the music is doing so much. Mm-hmm. To make those words have have resonance and have, you know, and I mean, huh. well, you just played me a song um, which you wouldn't let me put on tape. Thank you very much from your upcoming album, whatever that is, and it's a beautiful song, and it's really it sounds like what's on your mind right now, which has to do with what what state the world is in and what role we all play in. Well, this song started to be about it's called an earthquake. Sa it's called standing in the breach. It started mm -hmm. to be about the the earthquake in Haiti and then it right away started being about people's inability to deal with disaster or at least society's inability to deal with disaster and then it really ultimately it's about poverty and about about altruism about about people's the imp, the impulse to do to to change the world uh, and you still have that feeling very strongly I mean you spend so much of your time giving back working for different causes why is that well one of my favorite poets, Carolyn Forche, wrote a poem in which the lines were that, you know, like, you know, you, it is not your right to feel helpless. Better people than you are helpless. Are helpless. That's where I recite that. Better people than you are helpless. It's, there are people for whom, you know, hope and, and the energy to keep trying are matters of survival. It's like it's 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 it's. I I, re, I rebel against it. I, I I couldn't feel that. I don't I don't want. You know. Obviously, you could be rich, and suicidal, too. You know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, many many of the finest people I've ever met are people who have nothing, and they give and they give. And they give. I mean, they might not be giving you much of anything but it could be all they have. So it, it's that dichotomy of like, when is something that is like, like three friends of mine woke up and they had been sleeping in their car, they slept on a, at the end of a road, they couldn't drive any further in Morocco and when they woke up in the morning there was a Moroccan gentleman there who insisted on taking them to his house, introducing to his family and killing his only chicken and feeding them the most sumptuous repast he could <clears throat> make happen mm -hmm. and that's all they had but they had been give, given the gift of someone put in their well, path well but you're not you're so, not you're not a chicken farmer in morocco you're he you're wasn't a, rock a chicken star. farmer he was something else but he only and he had one chicken but he gave it to these visitors because of what they represented to him was it was an opportunity mm -hmm. to know somebody from another country and to and to perhaps for his children to benefit by who they were and what they had to offer so that's the that's the plane that i that i'm interested in the, the exchange of you know information and ideas and and you know the the musicians I know from other countries are are they're they're my teachers. You know, he's got my my friends from Spain just showed up and they like I just had the best time in my house because I had to return their hospitality. And when I went in Spain, I've I've been given the most incredible, uh, taken the most incredible places, and people stop for a week and take you places you want to go. Here we're too busy for that.